Hey, Josh Tig, Running T Farms. Uh, mid morning cattle move here. Grazing some uh, frosted on crabgrass primarily. There's a little bit of other stuff in here, but it's primarily crabgrass. Uh, you can see there where we grazed to. Uh, just moved them. This is the second move of the day. Uh, we got a, about a 10 acre paddock here of this uh, frosted on crabgrass. We're going to try to uh, get it grazed up here. We're all through calving. Uh, going to uh, get ready to head into breeding season here. But uh, I know a lot of people would think they'd take a look at this and think, wow, uh, not very good forage. But uh, take a look here at the uh, manure pat. That, uh, of course, the cow there has kind of kicked it, but you can still see her making a good manure pat. Uh, obviously these are lactating uh, cattle but with a manure pat like that the forage is still good enough to uh, meet their needs so trying to get as high harvest efficiency as possible going into winter we want to make use of all this forage we got a, a little bit of our some warm season annuals that's got frosted on and we're just going to continue to graze those with as high harvest efficiency as possible uh until we see the uh quality drop uh below what these cattle need so uh with it being warm season annuals uh the, it can lose quality fairly quickly uh more rain we get the faster it'll go downhill but uh for right now quality is holding up good uh cattle are doing well and it's a uh, beautiful, beautiful Sunday here in North Carolina. So uh, just wanted to get a, a video here of the cattle grazing, uh, the harvest efficiency that we are achieving. We will be drilling some annual ryegrass and the crimson clover in here. As uh, soon as we get this grazed off with these cattle, uh, we, we have found the need to drill some ryegrass about every third year. Usually we get a pretty good stand the second year if we, uh, from the seed bank, cause it, enough of it will go to seed. But uh, we've grazed this pretty hard for the last two years, this particular paddock here. So uh, we are going to reseed it with annual ryegrass and crimson clover. So hope everybody has a fantastic day. You can check us out online at runningtbeef.com or you can like us on Facebook at Running T Beef. If you're, uh, watching on facebook be sure and hit that uh, like and subscribe button on your way out and uh, as always hope everybody has a, a fantastic day and a, a fantastic next week